What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NHL prize picks video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into that $50 giveaway I do every single week on this channel. Thank you guys for joining me as always. As always, I'm using the NHL player prop tool. That is at greenlightdfs.com right now. But within another week or so, Props Made Easy is going to have their site ready. And all of you who don't care about daily fantasy sports, which you should. I mean, if you like player props, you should definitely like daily fantasy sports. But if you don't like daily fantasy sports, you'll be able to grab just tool access over at Props Made Easy. Okay, that'll be in about a week or so, probably after All-Star break, but we'll see. But um, anyway... Super, super, super happy. We've had so much success over the last few days in NHL uh, props. Uh, it's been fantastic. The player prop tool has been amazing. I have I personally have been playing player props as well. And over the last two days, I've hit six picks back to back. Um, so it has been super, super hot lately. It's been amazing. But that does not mean I will always come on here and make sure I keep y'all playing smart. That does not mean to go crazy. Take some of the winnings over the last few days. Stash them aside so you have some profit over the last few days. Don't bet all of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like when if you're at the casino and you're playing craps. You don't win a large amount and then throw all of it on a certain number unless you're just a degenerate. Okay? <laughs> Put some aside. Actually take advantage of the money we're making here. The whole point of Greenlight DFS and what we do in daily fantasy sports and what we do in player props is to actually help people make actual additional income on top of the income they already make to actually let them live a more comfortable lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Give them extra money to be able to do extra shit and be more, even more comfortable financially. That's the whole point. At the end of the day, is to have fun and actually make money. So if you want to actually make money in sports betting, you definitely need to make sure that you're stashing some aside after big days, okay? All right, y'all. So bankroll management. Take some of what you've won and put them on a few picks here. So first and foremost, at the top of the list, you can see we've got a good bit of green here for the overs today, okay? That does not mean every single one of these are going to hit every single day either, okay? Just making sure that's realistic as well. These are player props. It is sports betting, but the prop tool has been amazing. Um, there's a couple spots that really, really stick out to me hard right now, and that's the big Vegas odd of Jason Robertson. If you look at Jason Robertson for Dallas, he's at 3.5 prop line. 3.5, the money line's on the over at minus 145, which is probably the biggest that we have on this slate right now. Um, the biggest odds favored on a side out of anybody on like any props that we have available on prize picks. Jason Robertson is probably the highest favorite at minus 145. And, but remember, you don't want to just go off of this. Okay, that's a big mistake a lot of people make. If you could just go off of big, big, big Vegas, Vegas odds, then everyone in their mama would be millionaires because it would be way too easy to bet and bookmakers would not be uh, existing if that's possible. Okay, you got to understand whatever is super duper 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 simple is not always the best thing to do. So you want to pair it up with other modes of what you feel comfortable with. So for, exa for example, Jason Robertson has the high Vegas total, but we also have him projected at almost four and a 0 0.38 differential. Okay, so we like him as well. The projection, we have him projected at that almost four range at a 0 0.38 differential, a decent differential, and the Vegas is on the over. So I definitely like Robertson at the over um, there. His line will probably bump up to a four eventually today if it stays this high or keeps going up. So you could take advantage of that value as of right now. Um, he is a play that we definitely like. Remember, Vegas line looking great. We also like to pair it with what the projection's looking like, and that's also an over. So great spot, all right? A few other spots that I like here, okay? Nico, <sighs> okay. I know a lot of y'all can help me with this last name. Hishir, Hishire. I'll just call him Nico for now. Nico at 2.5 prop line shots on goal. The money line's on the over at minus 125, so not huge. So the prop line shouldn't adjust right now. He's hit this in six of his last 10. We have him projected at 3.13. That's a 0 0.63 differential. We love Nico today. Love Nico today. Matthew. Matthew has made me a lot of money as of late. I've been betting on Matthew over shots on goal a lot lately. Matthew, once again, is in a fantastic spot. He's at 3.5. Vegas line is at the over minus 130. And as you can see, lately he's just been on. He's hit this in seven of his last 10. We have him projected at 4.1, a full 
you know, a full shot over at 0 0.6 differential. So I really like those those two guys. I really like Jason Robertson. He's going to adjust. Let's look at the unders that we have for today. We have Timo, who's popping as an under here at 4.5. That is a high prop line. That might be the highest prop line. No, we have Nathan McKinnon at a 5. Um, but outside of that, Timo is the next highest. Okay, we've got Timo at the next highest right here. Hold on, let me sort by. There we go. We have Timo at the next highest at 4.5. That's high. He needs five here against Buffalo to hit this. He has gone under 4.5 and five of his last 10. We have him projected at 4.13 at a minus 0 0.37. Um, so we do prefer the under of all the bets on Timo, okay? Um, anybody else that's really, okay, if you look at Matthew Barzel, there's another guy who the Vegas line is leaning very heavy on the under here, okay? We've got the under for Matthew Barzel at 2.5 minus 140. He's gone under in six of his last 10 and we have him projected under at 2.29. So that's a Vegas line that you can believe in and that also looks good, okay? But I know what y'all want. Y'all want me to give you definitive picks that I 100% love. And I'm gonna go ahead and go both overs again here today. I'm gonna go Nico for the over 2.5. I'm gonna go Matthew at the over 3.5. Both of these guys are just popping so hard at 0 0.6 plus differentials. They're solid spots, but there's also other amazing options. Make sure you use this tool. This tool right here that you're looking at, y'all, is at greenlightdfs.com, greenlightdfs.com. Once you get onto the site, you can create a uh, membership if you want to at the top right. If you want to have a membership to Greenlight, if you're interested in any daily fantasy sports stuff and stuff like that, that Greenlight is definitely the space to go for that, for optimal lines and stuff for DraftKings FanDuel. But if you're just for the prop tool, you can go to member exclusive tools. You don't even have to make an account. Go down to NHL player prop tool and boom, you will have access to this for free until the Props Made Easy site is ready. Okay, And then you'll be able to go over there and use all of our tools at the same place. All right. But anyway, so yeah, Jason Robertson over. Definitely like his spot as well. We like the over. Vegas really likes the over, so he's in a fantastic spot. I saw one a second ago when we, I was looking at unders that had heavy – where is it? Right here. Okay, so we've got Miko Rantanen at 3.5. Vegas has the under at minus 140. That's a big line on the under there for him as well. Same thing with Carter. I would prefer Carter. If you want to play off the money line, the way the money line looks, I would rather go Carter Verhage under. Verhage, I don't know how to say his name. Carter. I'd rather Carter under 3.5 than I would Miko just because that minus differential is higher. But remember, in the yellow, you're still, it's a little bit more iffy than the ones in the green. You want to kind of focus more on the ones in the green, regardless of what Vegas is saying. You want to focus more on the ones in the green than you want the ones in the yellow. Once you reach this yellow range, you're reaching a range where it's kind of like, certain thing not all of the boxes are checked yes it looks good but not all of them are checked could they still hit in the yellow absolutely you still want to look here and see if this is a positive or a minus number okay but mainly you want to focus on the green you know what i mean and put your money on the smartest bets that you possibly can and remember y'all smart bankroll management man things crazy things can happen in sports betting we know that all right, so we've had an amazing last few days. Put some aside, stash some away to have some of that extra cash, actually profit on sports betting, and then bet some of it today, not all of it. All right, thank you guys for joining me as always, and I'm out. Peace.